Hey guys, how are you? This, this, uh, <laughs> this thing, this bug, this thing. Oh my gosh. They put us under a mandatory mask order in our county. I have breathing problems. I was at Walmart and I had a really close, close panic attack. It was pretty bad. I was checking out. I couldn't breathe. I had this mask on. I just couldn't breathe. And I'm, I'm gasping for breath. I mean, it's bad. I probably should have just put it down below my nose at that point. But I didn't. And um, I'm checking out. And, okay, I get checked out. This couple in front of me break out into a fight at the checkout counter. Or self-serve. And I'm just trying my best to ignore them. I grab, I have my dog food in the basket and I had a thing of butter in a bag. <laughs> I just panicked. I panicked. I didn't have a full blown panic attack, but I came very, very close. I, uh, this, uh, this isn't good. This isn't good. I have lung issues wearing the mask. I know a lot of people are screaming, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask. Now we're under mandatory. You have to wear a mask. If you have breathing problems, it's a problem. It's a big problem. So I don't know. And uh, this is what happened during my panic attack. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. I broke out in instant hives lighting here in here is not real good but yeah that's not good <laughs> wow so those of you that are screaming wear your mask wear your mask wear your mask please realize it's very difficult for some others and you know I'm not even too sure if the Mask is 100% effective anyhow. We know it isn't. It's not 100%. We don't, I don't know how effective it really is. Anyhow, I just wanted to do this short video. It's um, not a good thing. I've had to make signs for the office. Light, come back. Hmm, that didn't help. Okay, I'll sit like this. So I had to make signs for the office. I had to make signs. I'm, I'm an RV park manager, made signs for the office. Uh, the office isn't very big. Six feet away is a corner chair, way in the corner. Otherwise you have to wear a mandatory mask or we can face a $500 fine. I had to make signs for the laundry room and the bathhouses. They're not really big rooms either. So I had to limit it one per person. You cannot wear a mask in these rooms. There's no air conditioning. This is Texas. Heat index is in the hundreds. So no, you cannot wear a mask in there. However, I could limit it to one person entry only, unless it's a family or roommates that already live together, people that already live together. Other than that, no, it's just one per person. Fortunately, we do not have to wear a mask while outside while outdoors or any of that. It's just in enclosed business areas. I need to clarify something. My lung problems are not due to smoking. I've never smoked. I'm not a smoker. However, I was raised around smokers and everybody around me smokes in this RV park everywhere. So I try to avoid it as much as possible. But, um, what actually happened to my lungs is I was using a chemical stripper to release some linoleum from a floor several, several years ago, and it puffed in my face and damaged my lungs. So ever since then, come back light, <laughs> the sun is shifting outside. So ever since then, um, I've had trouble 
I can't be around campfires. Right after it happened, it was horrible. I couldn't even be outside for fresh air. I would just couldn't breathe. I now have to use an inhaler daily. So, and lately it's been, the weather's been awful. So I've been using the inhaler more and more. This is annoying. Please keep one level light. Thank you. Really? Okay. <laughs> Talking to my camera now. <laughs> so, and we're supposed to have like a Sahara dust storm come through starting tomorrow. So that's not going to be good either. Anyhow, that's just uh, what I wanted to let y'all know. Y'all stay safe out there. Love y'all and live the life you love. Bye.